with the new APPR looming in the horizon, pacing maps to follow, report card comments to write, IST and CSE meetings to attend, do you really feel like attending another meeting? In fact, most of your day should be focused around educating your students, helping them become the leaders of tomorrow, but oftentimes you feel that you've spent too much of your day just attending meetings. Is this scene reflective of your life at 3.30 on a Tuesday? You're sitting in a BLT meeting, trying to read a document that you just received, review minutes from a previous meeting, and trying to share your thoughts and concerns as an educator. Now I'll be up till midnight because I still have lesson plans to write and papers to grade. There has to be a better way. This meeting is going to be a long one because most of the attendees aren't even prepared. This whole BLT concept is a great thing, but we have to focus on utilizing our time more effectively and efficiently. The way we are doing things now is archaic. There needs to be a shift between physical, unproductive, and time-consuming meetings to information sharing with thought-provoking dialogue. Eureka! Google Groups should work for our BLT meetings. It is a fast and easy way to communicate meeting agendas, minutes, articles, and topics for group discussion. How do we get started? Starting your Google Groups journey. First you will need to navigate to Google site. You can type www.google.com from your home page. If you have a Gmail account, you will need to log in. If you do not have a Gmail account, you can select to create one. Click on the drop down arrow right next to more. Select even more, scroll down until you see Gmail, and click it. Here is where current Gmail users would log in. If you're new to the site, click Create an Account. Creating your account will be extremely easy. It's just some basic demographical questions that you'll have to complete. And once you have all those questions completed, accept and Google will create your account. Now that you have your Google account established, you will simply log in. Look how simple that is. Now you will again click on the drop down arrow next to more and you will select groups. And this is the screen that will become your friend as you establish your very own building leadership team group. As you can see, the Google site is very user friendly and creating your group will be effortless. You'll simply click the create button. You'll name your group. I suggest keeping the naming piece extremely simple and working with your school name followed by building leadership team. You can see that Google based on your group's name creates a group email address. Then you'll complete the description. I suggest making that your group's mission statement. So for today it'll be to enhance the students learning experience etc etc. It is also extremely important to make sure you restrict your group because of the nature of topics that will be discussed and the type of information that will be shared. Then you'll click create my group. It'll bring you to the next step which is to add the members. This particular step is a step that you can skip. Um, I prefer to skip it Something you might want to consider is personalizing the invitation to your group. I suggest that using this space to enhance the benefits of belonging to this group. So you might want to put some information like streamline the process, communicate more effectively. Voila! Your group is now built. Now this is the customization phase. You can go in and you can customize the way your group appears. I personally to pref prefer to add my group members at this phase. Now this is my completed group for the Montessori Building Leadership Team. As you can see I've added members. Um, I've also uploaded a document for the group to review. 
and it makes information sharing more effortless. Another great function is the Google Calendar. The calendar is extremely helpful because you can uh, schedule all of your meetings for the entire school year with the simple click of a mouse. You'll select the month in which your meeting is to occur, your date, and simply hit create. You can title your meeting, the start time, end time, where your meeting will be held, a description of what will be discussed, and you can add attachments. That is an extremely helpful feature if you have minutes from the previous meeting that you'd like to make available or maybe articles that you'd like to share with the group. Add guests. This is where you'll type in the email address of your group, add, and it will automatically show you the names of the guests that participate in that group and then you'll simply invite them. As you can see, the system asks you if you would like to send invitations to your guests. Select Send, and there you have it, Google Groups.